You get, and like I said the other time, in the case of a boardroom, it is you can't. It is only the company that it is only a company that can be served by substituted means. I stand by the Supreme Court in the case of Mark and Nikkei. Mm -hmm. So, in the case of the senior president, who is an individual representing the Nigerian senior, he has come out to say, you know what? If there are cases against Obanikolu, can you please bring them forward? You know, can you please serve me the documentation? I have not been served. And it could not have referred to any newspaper publication because it could be published by anybody. And we have another caller, Cecilia, is calling us from Gombe State. Hello, Cecilia, our first female caller. Thank you for joining us on the show. Cecilia, are you still there? Oh, we lost uh, Cecilia's call there, and I was quite uh, excited that we are having a female caller today, the first one. Please call back if you can, and thank you for watching uh, the program. Continue with you. Yeah. So, the senior president was clear. Now, he, like I said before, um, he's been able to determine in the few weeks of postponing the screening of uh, Obanikolo that come, the, you guys don't seem to have an objective point. Uh, the, that means uh, the APC senators, you know. If you guys have any objective point, and this, case, this particular issue is not personal, he has asked them to come forward. What are the reasons? Let's even talk about the reasons. What are the grounds? One of the grounds is that there are court cases against this guy, which has not been served on the Senate. The second reason, you know, they cited the case of Ekiti Gate. And uh, my brother mentioned, he referred us to how uh, uh, Femi Fanica, the, the uh, presidential campaign spokesman, goes to court with a retinue of police officers and a few others. I'm also going to refer him to how the, former, uh, the current speaker of Lagos State House of Assembly goes to court like there's a, <laughs> there's a party rally during his trial. Speaker. Are they amicable for you? Speaker. During speaker. his trial. <laughs> still a like speaker. I said, during his trial. It's still a, a speaker. Look, mm. if, we're, if, if we're talking about equity, would you come to equity with clear hands? No, he, the is, isn't that different? He's a, he's a speaker. A, a public he's so he's even, he's even higher. He's even, look, he's even higher than Obani Kuru in this case. Obani Kuru, Fanny Kyle's office Fani, is just yeah. a, an, an appointment. It's an appointment. A, an elected official. That is maintained and serviced with, with with taxpayers' funds, you know, was alleged, was even standing trial in the dock, mm -hmm. and he okay. remained the speaker of the state house of assembly. We, we have uh, Mohammed on the line. Uh, Mohammed, thank you for joining us on the show. You're calling us from Sokoto. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, Mohammed. If you can see me, I'm saying you should. You should make your comment. I'm begging on you to make your comment. What I want to make my comment is uh, about the program that you are doing now. I think the screen of the minister. Go ahead. Yeah. So what is there, if you understand that, uh, what is there, if you understand that uh, the PPP government is so concerned about the law, I'm sorry, we'll have to cut you there, Mohammed uh, from Sokoto. The uh, audio was quite bad. And if you want to call us back, please uh, reduce the volume of your TV set so we can hear you uh, clearer. And you were making your point. Yeah. So, the same accusation the APC is, you know, accusing the PDP today, they've committed that a couple of times. There are a lot of people that are fingered in APC. There are a lot of people that are fingered in, you know, even the state governor of this particular state got an injunction restraining everybody from questioning <laughs> whatever he has done in Lagos. So, look, I don't understand how the APC comes about saying uh, the PDP has done this or the PDP has done that. Nobody has done anything. Whatever accusation the APC has pointed at you know, the PDP, the APC is, is guilty over four times of, of same accusation. Now, my point you know, is, is simple. I was trying to uh, uh, explain to you that the issues were more personal than any objective reasons. You know. uh, my brother cited the case of Illubrain and Ekitike scandal. He also cited that one of the reasons cited by Muslim Obanikuru was that the land in question belongs to the federal government. Please ask the Lagos State Government, have you dialogued with the federal government on whatever idea or whatever objective you have for the Lubrian project? 
have you had like a tete-a-tete -tete with you know the government representatives to say you know what this is what we are looking at have they come to agree with you if they've not come to agree with you you don't bulldoze your way you can't just come to my land as Samson Davis and then begin to erect whatever structure you feel it will be good for the, for the... You have to discuss with me. If we agree the land in question, as said by my brother Joey Bukwe, belongs to the federal government, the state government should, should discuss with the federal government. They can't come up with something together. They've done some other things together. So. Oh, I would really love to get your uh, reaction to what he just said, well, almost everything. Do you know about the Land Use Act? You know about the land use? Lagos state government has different. All state lands belong to the state. Yes. And I have cited documents, you know, from federal government requesting for lands, you know, to do one project or the other in Lagos. This is the tradition. That land there belongs to Lagos State. And if you if you want to fight if there's any reason to do anything there, should it be you who is from Lagos that will go and do the fight? As a min junior minister in the defense ministry. Anthony General is there. Other ministers are there. Minister for Lands and Housing. What did you go there to do as a junior minister of defense and somebody who is a Lagos person? Okay, what can you say about what he said that, uh, okay, politicians from APC as well, e.g. the Speaker of Lagos. Uh, no, it's just that, that the, the Speaker is still the Speaker of the House. He's elected to do that job until he's removed. We are talking of somebody who has just been appointed, you know. It's an appointment. You can decide to, 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 to drop him any day. Mm -hmm. I suppose he's a lawyer, so you should know the difference. All right, we have another caller from Zamfara State. Uh, Garba, good morning. Are you still there? Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you. Go ahead. Yeah, excuse to me. I think the gentleman from uh, BDC Lagos says uh, he should not objectively, he shouldn't be insulting Nigerians. Why is it that when you come to application of law, when you come to PDP members, they do what they body want, but if somebody from opposition or maybe somebody non-partisan, they will say this, this and this. For the past 15 years, PDP has been in power. We don't have light, we don't have water, our education sector is the worst in the world, and what has been. Let me even look at Lagos, what is happening in Lagos, can you compare it to PDP and federal government and other places? Thank you. Thank you, Garpa from Zamfara. Do you have any comment on what he said? Yaruba said he doesn't have light, he doesn't have water. Are you telling me Garuba has not had his bath or brushed his teeth in the last uh, one week? How has Garuba been doing that? Look, we should just, just the way many we Nigerians just, do it. We should through borehole water. <laughs> Nigerians provide their own if you water. Go to, <laughs> if you go to take water from a, 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 a shallow well in your compound, I use it to. <laughs> let you, let, water. Let, let you, let you, let you we prove to me that Garuba has been living on the water from one shallow well. Are you saying that regardless, once Nigerians can provide their own electricity, if they can like, provide their look, own water, look, there is no problem? Look, is look, that what you're saying? Look, even as we speak in Lagos, we talk about the privatization of the water ministry. We talk about how it should be managed by some professionals. Mm. Look, these are laudable achievements. These are things that have been achieved at different levels. We shouldn't be political with everything for crying out loud. We should try for once to be objective. Come, guys, we need to take a position from being a pro PDP and pro APC and just come to, to one middle point and say, wait, what do we need to do as Nigerians? If, it, if the PDP is doing this in this right direction, please let's load them. If the APC, however, has anything to have done, let's also load them. Do you understand? We can't just for every opportunity be political. We understand there are political angles. We understand there, are, there is an objective angle. You understand what I'm saying? But we need to, at different points, you know, come and ask ourselves, wait, one, wait, wait a minute. What exactly do we want to achieve? But in the end, it's Nigerians like uh, Garba that called him that gets affected by policies made by either political part parties, yeah. uh, parties and... Many are saying, like I said, you know, you've not answered the question. Yeah, you, are you saying, in essence, that uh, once Nigerians, because Nigerians are the ones that provide their electricity, they're the ones that provide their water, uh, the, the, they have mo almost all homes in, in Nigeria have boreholes, so that they do not have to go out to fetch water. Are you saying that uh, uh, the government, uh, uh, 
Nigerians should, should be happy or no pro there is no problem in the land look, so long Nigerians can solve their own problems look, that the government is supposed to solve for look, them. Look, look, look. But before you say anything, let's quickly pick this call from Musa. Hello, Musa, good morning. Musa, are you still there? Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm still there. Good morning. I'm calling from Ninja. Con go ahead with your contribution. Hello? We can hear you, Musa. Go ahead. My contribution is that the uh, corruption is not here. Uh, Nigeria will be corrupted. Hello? Go ahead. We can hear you, Musa. I say it. It seems the audio is quite <coughs> bad today. We had to call to call the Musa. Apologies yeah, to you. Try and call said. again. Reduce mm. the volume of your TV set. Uh, uh, we heard what you, uh, you, you, mm. you said in the beginning, but it wasn't clear towards the end. But you can call back to clarify what you were, uh, the point you wanted to make. Uh, your point. Yeah. We need, we as Nigerians need to agree that we know where we were some years back. Um, we need to load the PDP led government of whatever initiatives, whatever achievements you know that have been made so far so good. You know, things were not these, you know, uh, developed in the, in this country some years, you know. So for whatever the PDP government has achieved, whatever the government you know at time has achieved. We also need to be grateful to that. Yes. What could you please uh, mention some of them? Uh, in the area of telecoms, you know, I will talk about that. In the area of agri, I will talk about it. In the area of the economy, you know, I will talk about that. You know, there are a couple of things that I have. What about, what about power generation? In the area, in the fuel, in, fuel in, supply, uh, Nigerians, we, don't, we still don't have refineries, and Nigerians are still worried about look, that. Look, uh, look, Pump price is still quite high. Look, if you compare the price of oil in Nigeria, the price of petrol in Nigeria, to the state we we're looking at. It's not a joke. We are still subsidized in Nigeria as you as got, uh, as you got uh, for consumption. Mm -hmm. Now, my point basically Should is Nigeria still be subsidizing 16 years into democracy? And that's the question. That, well, do not let us deviate from what we are discussing. Okay. It's still about uh, confirmation of Senator Musi Obanikor okay. as a, a Minister <laughs> of State for Defense uh, for the second time again. Now, yeah. uh, this isn't the first time he's, he's, uh, he's occupying, he's going to be occupying the post. Yeah. Uh, he, he was before, before he resigned to try and contest uh, for primary and, and senior party in Lagos. And APC sub, um, senators didn't object him then. He was an ambassador for Nigeria. It wasn't yeah. objected. But yeah. so what don't you think there is uh, maybe an objective reason why the APC senators are coming out to say that we do not want you when well, we didn't want you to 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 clear clear Obanikoro uh, for uh, the ministerial position which it was eventually cleared for by the uh, PDP majority and the Senate president it, before you say anything we have another it seems we have another caller joining us uh, we have uh, Ibrahim from Muduguri good morning to you Ibrahim uh, good morning. Uh, I want to make my contribution, please. Go ahead. Uh, please, uh, I have, I'm very sorry for the young PDP man. That, uh, I'm very sorry with the young, this young guy. Yeah, and uh, he's defending uh, lies and uh, hypocrisy. The only thing I know PDP has done to this country is only impunity and corruption. I can give you an insider uh, and from Borno to Mr. Dagash when he was uh, uh taking when, when he went to the Senate two thousand and seven, before he the 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 the, 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 the senators refused to, to, to confirm him. The issue of bowing you are just lying. It's only when you can, when, when when you have people of, of your character that you say um, it, 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 it's in the tradition of the Senate. You go and you check the records. You are a lawyer but uh, it's very unfortunate. We lost, you, we lost, we lost, lost your colleague there, just, just Ibrahim. To, mm. Please call back. Yes, your even though we are discussing issues, um, about Kuro's matter, you know, you cannot divorce the the development that we're having in this country, you know, whether it's development or not, with our actions and deeds. I, I told you that it is little, little things that we do and think that it does not matter that create the big problem that we're having today. You see, corruption is a problem. So well, it's not only when you collect money from somebody. There's political corruption. There's economic corruption, social corruption. These are the things that we put on hold your progress. 
You see, my dear, everybody wants to be a leader, but at what cost? At what cost? This is a question. If you put somebody who is not a leader, he can drag that nation to war. He can destroy that nation. He can humiliate that nation. And that's what we're talking about. When you celebrate this kind of political corruption that we see on a daily basis here with impunity, frightening impunity, nothing is going to happen. Don't expect progress. It is this kind of reason that led to the armed forces of Nigeria that used to be the best standing army in Africa. Today we are seeing divisions within the army. We are seeing junior officers disobeying generals. Generals running away from, from war fronts, you know. It is this kind of impunity and political corruption that led to the kidnap of our 300 girls. It is this kind of impunity that led to the killing of over 15,000 people since for, for the past six years. I have not been able to address the problem. It is this kind of impunity that has led to us not having light. So what do you think this... Uh will have on Nigeria's and democracy, which is no longer young. Look, it's either we practice democracy or we don't. The system gives you platforms, platforms to get the best managers. I told you, everybody wants to be a leader, but at what cost? Because of, because of the checks and balances you have within the system, that will help you to Clear, to clean up somebody, for somebody to walk up to the stage and sit down the way we are sitting down and do the work. If you set standards for some people and set standards for other people, you can allow a criminal to sit as the president of Nigeria. And of course, you know that when you do that, that person will convert that huge office to his person because he can never change. A criminal will never change. An ugly person will never change. A liar will never change. So if you if you open the, if you open the road without asking questions for you to get that kind of person into office, whatever you get, you take. That's the problem. All right, uh, Mr. Davis, uh, I asked you earlier that what changed right now? Why do you think APC senators uh, moved against the uh, confirmation of Senator Banikoro, knowing that when he was uh, uh, screened earlier, before during the first uh, uh, time he was to be appointed as ambassador and, of course, for the same position, they didn't object to, to it? Banikoro has become a phenomenon to Lagos APC, precisely. The likes of Joey uh, Boko, Banikoro is, uh, is a thorn in their flesh. Obanukura has become somebody they want to attack, they want to object, they want to reject, they want to oppose. They just want to find everything to oppose the guy, you know. And, you know, some of us can also understand their position. We, 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 we sympathize with them, you know. Uh, Obanukura has become somebody they, they seem to dread so much, you know. And uh, it's not out of place for them to want to oppose and come up with all kinds of reasons against him. Maybe when he was cleared, you know, as an uh, ambassadorial, you know, uh, yeah. candidate, n nominee, and then in a ministerial nominee, you know, m probably they were not, they just looked at him as, you know, he doesn't count, you know. <laughs> Lagos, uh, Lagos, we own Lagos, you know. What's the bank going to do? But the guy has been able to prove his metal. He's been able to come up to say, you know what, guys, I'm going to challenge you. He has challenged yeah, the, the Lagos ABC on so many fronts. Are you talking about the Libyan project? Are you to come up with a lot of things? And the alleged Ekitigate... Um the Ekitigate candor in question. Look, we can fabricate anything. We can, co co we can cook anything you know, against anybody. Now, the fact that it remains an allegation does not mean that is the position. So, but why is One the minute. Nigerian government still not going uh, about it by calling for a forensic uh, identification what? of the voices? We are... What forensic identification? You have alleged, so you should prove. The Nigerian government did not accuse Obani Kuro of a kitty, whatever a window or gate you talk about, you know. The Nigerian government didn't do all of that. If the APC has alleged that the tape was uh, circulated by the APC, the tape was uh, produced by APC, the tape was made available to the public by APC, so APC should prove. 
<laughs> so it is not on the Nigerian government or Baluko himself to prove an allegation against him. So if there are allegations, look, there are, uh, you have the you have the court of law. Mm. If the matters are in court as we speak, we shouldn't even discuss it in the first place. Reason the APC senators were saying that Obanikoro shouldn't have even declared in the first place on the floor. Look, the guys, if you listen to the position of the APC senators and even the address, look at the wife of uh, the national leader of the party. The woman came out of her chambers. She came out of her seat, you know, and the lady was almost going after her. She was almost going to drag Obanikoro. It shows the, how personal the issues are. If you look at the video again, just take a look at it again. You get what I'm saying? You will see the case is passing. I'm sorry, I have to cut you, Joe. We'll continue with the discussion, but yeah. we have to take this uh, breaking news. There has been a fire outbreak at the popular Mao 12 markets in Lagos. The director of the Lagos State Fire Service is on the phone with us. Hello, Mr. Fadik, but what is the situation at the market right now? What caused this particular fire outbreak? Thank you. Like I have told you, the information about the district court came into the fire service at 0620 hours this morning. And immediately the fire truck from Ilukoju was dispatched to the scene. It arrived there at 0628. But unfortunately, the fire truck was, the windscreen was smashed by the woodlums there. However, I dispatched two other fire trucks from Ikeja and Alalausa to reinforce the first one. So on arrival, they discovered that there are some people that dealt in illegal bunkering activities inside the market there. Uh, about 100 drums of uh, uh, PMS they were found there and three surface tanks were found there. And this is a firefighting operation. We discovered that casualties were involved as well. Three lives were consumed by the fire and some shops were as well affected by the fire. So as of now, the fire has been doused and we are fully in control of it. All right, now, uh, apart from those uh, killed, three people you said they were, were killed in that fire incident, are there uh, any injured uh, victims? Pardon? Are there any injured victims apart from the, uh, the dead uh, victims you said? And, uh, some shops were affected by the fire kiosk and three, several vehicles were as well consumed. Two combi buses, two Diana vehicles, and two mini trucks and one salon car making several vehicles. A container as well, about 40 foot tall container, was affected as well. Up to now, we've not been able to get the container opened. We are still trying to make sure we get it open. So, uh, in order for us to know what uh, the container contains. All right, has the fire been put out? The fire has been put out. The fire has been put out. You, you know, we know what the market is. And that is the reason why I quickly defied three fire trucks to the place because we don't want uh, the marketer to suffer a lot of, uh, uh, to suffer a lot. Because we know this is where they get their proceeds to maintain their livelihood. That's why we don't joke with any fire that they must market. Thank you, Mr. Fadik Bear of the Lagos State Fire Service uh, for the information on the fire incident at along Ikorodu Road, Mile 12 Axis. I want to uh, uh, thank uh, the sector commander of the FRSC, Hajina Sumejo, who gave us the info earlier at the beginning of the program where we announced uh, and appealed for firefighters to quickly go there to put out the fire. Thank you for your efforts. Um, we'll come back with a uh, discussion on the confirmation of Senator Musilio Obanikoro as a, uh, Minister of, of State for Defense again uh, by the Senate yesterday. The APC uh, senators uh, are not happy about it while the PDP uh, senators and of course Senate President David Mark said he wasn't served any court order and the reasons given by the APC senators were not tenable enough for uh, uh, Banikuru not to be uh, confirmed as a minister so as this moves on now what do you think uh, is the uh, way forward for Nigerians you, you're saying that this is a problem you've, you've said a lot about the level of impunity so how can uh, okay, I do before, I, 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 before I answer your question, let me just address my young um, um, partner here. Um, nobody has anything against Obani Koro. You see, when you are gunning for a position, as um, you, you, you see partisanship, 
when you are gunning for probably you want to be a senator, you want to be a minister, you want to be this, you want to be a governor, you're bound to be, uh, but you are bound to be a partisan. But once you get into that office, there's what is called partnership. You do your job. If you are fortunate to be in, in Abuja as a minister, you are representing your state. And the moment you get at that appointment, even as a PDP or APC, you work with your state governor. That's what we're talking about. If you check his antecedents, what, if he is a senator or even a minister, what lies ahead of him or what he thinks is, look, let me just use Abuja power to get whatever I want in Lagos. He's always at war with the government in Lagos, probably because it's an opposition government. But the moment you assume that position, representing your state, you're supposed to work with your governor. That's partnership. But if you begin to do some other things that we are seeing now, you continue to get this kind of opposition. People fear. Because the way you handle the Blueberry, you know, estate, you know, stunned us into disbelief. Because what, it's not even his, his the, 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 the job is not on his table. It's not his area. It's not his job to take soldiers to that place and chase construction workers away. It's an it's, it's action that, that was inimical to the progress of legal state. So now back to your question. You're asking the way forward. What, you have, let, let me just say that you've not had the last of this matter. All these impunities will end one day. All this political corruption that you're seeing will end one day. Once a name of a prominent person, I remember a governor in New York, he had a problem, an affair. When the man was confronted, he just, what he did was just, just step down and just took his wife, let me go and reconcile with my family. Let me go and reconcile with my family and my children before I come back. You see, these are the things that are done in advance in your countries. Because young people, young people like this that are growing up must not be fed with these lies that we tell. Because they are supposed to be better. Our children are better educated. Especially some of them that went to good, that are going to, went to good schools are better educated today. This, we're not disposed with this kind of thing when we were in school. I mean, in the 80s. I left university in 1985. I don't know when he left university. Experience cannot be learned from textbooks alone. That's why Russians, they keep people who are 980, 90, they still keep them in government. Because they said experience cannot be learned from textbooks alone. All right, um, I have to cut you there because of time. Uh, and when we speak, I have to cut you there. People Apologies. like him must listen to us. Because of time, otherwise, out of time, it needs to you won't have time. you won't have a nation. Thank you, Mr. Igbokwe. Could you please give us your, your parting shot as well, because we are running out of time. Um, I like to encourage my brother Joe Igbokwe to see politics as um, a matter of what you have to offer. If the APC's ideology is to field the uh, candidates like General Buhari in their 72 or 75 or whatever age they are, and also believes that uh, it's all about uh, how old or the number of gray hairs you have, you, know, you come to service you know, with that. And the PDP is coming out to say, you know what, well, we need people in their 40s you know, to come out and talk about politics. We need people that are young, that are vibrant, that have some you know, things to offer. There are some exposures, you know, not professional politicians. You know. I wouldn't know how long uh, Joey Bokwe has been in politics. You know. A long time. Uh -huh. So Before you were he, born. He's likely, he's likely going to be a career politician. <laughs> I'm not a career politician. <laughs> I'm an individual by training. <laughs> I'm an individual by training. He's likely going to be a career politician. You know. and, uh, I'm an individual by training. Where they have career positions, people devoted to shoot from politics. <laughs> and the PDP has business minded people. The PDP has technocrats, the PDP has a uh, They don't have anything. Their field, you know. They don't have anything. The PDP seems to have, I wouldn't know wh whatever Joe uh, Bukwe has done. They don't have anything. of engineering before. <laughs> you know. But I have credibility to what I have done you know, as a professional. Mm -hmm. I, I'm still doing at the moment. We have businesses ongoing. We are not professional politicians. We are not labeled as career politicians. 
we don't sit around government looking for one businesses or the other, or sit around APC and then you know looking for one favor from one national leader or you know or one state governor. We are objective people. We come to uh, uh, the public with you know a business sense. And when he talks about uh, when you are appointed from a state, you know as a minister of that state, you know you should work with your state governor. In court, he said partner. If the state government is desirous of partnering with uh, the ministerial, you know, uh, a candidate of another party in Lagos, it's all about coming to the round table. What does the state government have to offer? They can do a lot of collaborations. Obanikoro or any other person is not objected to that. There are a lot of things they must have done. However, we should not just be political about everything. You know, I know they are, they are stand, they are career politicians. They've been there for God knows when. You know. However, we know that uh, they should also try as much as possible to see a business and go to it. Right. So that they don't just live their life in politics. It's a better way to live life. Thank you very much. Mr. Politics, 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 politics is too <laughs> important to, to be left to mediocre. So, so, uh, just, just, yeah, yeah, just <laughs> continue to my I said politics is too important to be left in the hands of mediocres. And meretricious mediocrity. I don't want to say it further. No, 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 no. I'm a professional. Your time you is running. Let me, I'm a professional. Am I stand? I am a trained man. Your time is running now. Remember 30 seconds. 1985. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. for your time. And of course, uh, thank you for your time and discussing with us the appointment of uh, Obani Koro, Senator Musili Obani Koro by the Senate yesterday. Quite an interesting uh, discussion with the men.